What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create walkthrough. Okay, so this will gonna be three parts for our walkthrough topic. So the first topic, which is this one, I'm gonna show you how to create a walkthrough path. And then after that, we're going to learn how to camera position and position the walkthrough path, editing. And then last is we're going to learn how to record our walkthrough okay but first let's learn how to create a path for our walkthrough okay so the first thing that i'm gonna do make sure you are in the uh, floor plan so in my case i'm on the site plan okay so so site plan or floor plan that will do okay now the next thing that we are gonna do is let's look for our 3d here and then there's a drop down arrow if you click that you will now see here our walkthrough. So not only that, you can also create camera if you want, okay? But for this one, I'm gonna select here the walkthrough. So it creates an animated 3D walkthrough of a model. So I'm gonna select this one. And then after that, here on our options bar, to make sure perspective is selected. Otherwise, it's not perspective view when you uh, create your animation. So it will gonna be orthographic view. Okay, so just make sure your walkthrough here is set to perspective. And then for the offset, you can specify the height of your camera. So let's say, for example, for the first point of my walkthrough, I'm gonna make this 50 feet. Okay, so 50 feet. And then that's the location so from our zero entry level all right so let's get this thing started so i'm gonna click here so this will gonna be my first point there you go and then after that so if you will read here on our status bar it says every time you click it will place a walkthrough keyframe okay so that is our first keyframe Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to change here the offset. So instead of 50, so let's say I'm going to make this 25. Okay, 25 feet. And then I'm going to click somewhere here. So let's say I want to make it like a flying walkthrough. So from higher level and then it will go down lower level. Okay, so let's pick here for our second keyframe. There you go. And then again, I'm going to change here the offset. So let's say I'm going to make this uh, 10 feet. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to click somewhere here in this tree. So pick. There you go. And then I'm going to change again. So let's say this will going to be 8 feet. Okay, and then I'm going to walk through here. Then I'm going to pick another point here. And then after that, I'm going to change the height again to 5 feet and 6 inches. Oops. So 5 space 6. So that will going to be 5 feet 6 inches. And then I'm going to pick somewhere here. That's another keyframe. And then I'm going to pick here. And then I want to go inside the, the building. So I'm not going to change any more the offset. So I'm going to pick points. And there you have it. So that is now our walkthrough path. So after that, just select here, finish walkthrough. There you go. And then select here, modify. Now, after you create the walkthrough, it will going to be added here on our project browser. So we just move our slider and then look for walkthrough. And then just expand that and then you can specify here the name. Just right click the name and rename it. So I want to change that to let's say into the building. Okay, so into the building. Enter. So that's the name of my walkthrough. Right, so if I'm going to double click this. So there's now my uh, model. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the property so i go to the properties okay so if i'm gonna select here our walkthrough so there is an option here edit walkthrough right so if i click edit walkthrough i will be able to change here the frame so currently the default frame for my walkthrough 
true is 300. The total is 300. You can actually change that if you want, but I'm going to show you that on our next video. But for now, let me just start at the frame number one. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to type one and then enter. And this is now how it looks like now. So our view here is a bit obscured. Okay, so we can't see everything here. So that's why here on my properties, I'm going to go look for the extents and then I'm going to uncheck here my far clip active. Okay, so it enables the far clip feature omitting from the view any model elements that occur beyond the far clip offset. So I don't want this to be active. So I'm going to uncheck this one to make my view unlimited. So uncheck that and then apply. And there you go. So I can now see my view. All right. Oops, sorry. So just to let you know. Okay, so let's do this. So from the frame number one, so I just enter. And then um, here on the edit walkthrough. So from the walkthrough panel, so you can play now your walkthrough. So let's click this and let's see how it looks like. Okay, there you go. So the default view is like that. But on our next video, I'm going to show you how to modify the camera position and also the walkthrough path, how to modify that. But for now, at least you know already how to create your walkthrough path. Okay? That's it for now. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day.